Cool. Isn't that cool? And then there's this lounge area. But all of this would need to be, of course, spruced up to match what we want. up everybody how are you doing how is everything going today i am taking you guys on another journey of apartment tour in lagos nigeria so typically our company is looking for like a, a whole building that we can be like fully in control of and as we're looking we came across a few but then we also came across this one that i, we, that I almost think is the perfect fit look at the street the street is wide we have drainage So this is, has like eight apartment units. I think it's going to be awesome. And um, you know, let's go for a tour. I think it's great. Each unit also has a BQ. And I think it's three bedrooms for each unit. So far, I love everything about it. But let's go check this out. So we're going to start with the outside tour and then we'll go inside. Last place we toured, they have a gen, a space for gen meters, which we might go renewable. Um, let's go check out this area. It's lovely. Woo, look at this recreational area. Check this out. Wow. This is a beautiful recreational area. There's a pool. Isn't that cool? And then there's this lounge area. But all of this would need to be, of course, spruced up to match what we want, but I love, love, love. I just love the outdoor space. I can see myself in here. All right, let's go check out. It has a lot of potential. Let's check out more space. Outdoor space. Let's check out the way around. And the good thing is, it looks like one thing just to mention: the BQ, like the BQ rooms, they have their own access here. So you can go in. The BQ can people can access the studio room from here, and there's also stairs to access the BQ that's separate from the apartment, which is lovely. So yeah, cool. Just checking out. I, when I do this tours. I try to get a sense of the outside before I even go inside. So I'm taking you guys also on that journey. So we can keep going here. All right. It looks like they have lots of trash cans here, probably individually for each apartment. We will probably do a centralized one, which is good. One thing that I love is they also have a lot of these night lights throughout their apartments. Wonderful. And some areas for a little greenery, which is great. All right, so now that you guys have seen the inside, let's go check out. You guys have seen the outside, let's go check out. So this is the regular stairs for people that are going up, but we are going in here. And we're going to go check out this room. Now, this is a guest bathroom, and it's outside, which is cool. And this... So there's three bedrooms, but let's check out the kitchen. This is the kitchen. Fully fitted. There it is, you know, everything you need. Fridge, stove, everything. I think it's great. Cool. I'm gonna take you guys to the back so you can see the BQ, but let's stay in here for now. Oh, come on. The kitchen is great. It has more storages here. A lot of storages, just need some cleaning up. And 
there's a pantry. I think in Nigeria they call it store. It needs to be cleaned up, but I think it's great. So yeah. So that is the kitchen. Now let's go check out the bedrooms. So it seems the way this is laid out, there's one bedroom here, there's one there, and then there's another one here. So we'll start with this one that's close to here. This is amazing. Absolutely lovely. Very cool. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. It needs cleaning up, but I love it. Um, here's the bathroom. Beautiful. Very cool. I like it. So let's check out the other bedroom. Of course, it's gonna need like painting, cleaning, all that stuff, but the bonus is good. So we have two bedrooms. Bedroom number one. Again, lovely space. Ooh, lots of modu or whatever. I'm sure there's water issues, plumbing issues that one has to clear up, but all that will be cleaned up. But otherwise, good size. Here's the bathroom. The bathroom, we need a complete retelling. <laughs> complete retelling. Dang. I didn't leave this place like this. Anyways. But that's great. That's the bathroom. Cool. And then here's another bedroom. Voila. So each bedroom comes with its own toilet and shower. So yeah, overall, I love the layout of the place. And it's fully fitted. This is amazing. It's fully fitted, guys. Wow, this is cool. This is amazing. Okay. But this is the living space. Beautiful. So now let's go check out the BQ. I actually like a few things about this place. There actually could be a centralized place that all laundries can be done, which I think is great. That's outside of the house. And I'm thinking of functionality and design. So yeah. So this looks like the, the BQ I was talking about. There's a room here. And one can stay. Cool. All right, and I think this is their own. Oh yeah, the BQ has its own toilet and shower here. Very cool. All right. And then whoever is in that studio, BQ also has a little mini kitchen that can be completely turned around. This is just so amazing. All right, so they enter through here. So yeah, so let me show you. This is like the general space here. You see, so one can actually have a centralized system. So the entrance from the outside, and now can come in through. So yeah, there's a nice area. All right, so let's go back outside. So this is a sample of what one of the rooms look like, and I believe all four places is furniture, fully furniture, fully fitted. This is an amazing opportunity. Ah, let me sit down. Oh, I got just comfortable. All right. I hope that you guys enjoyed that tour. It's a lovely apartment, right? It definitely has a lot of things that needs to be fixed, cleaned up, renovated a little bit, but I think it's great. And we ended up not getting this apartment. Um, I think they wanted like a five-year lease and they wanted to rent it to like a, a corporate thing. And I was like, dang, who has that much cash? I'm sure they'll still rent it because some people have that type of cash. But anyways, unfortunately, we couldn't get this apartment. But regardless, I wanted to share it with you guys because I like to share what apartments in Lagos, Nigeria look like um, and the options that are out there available. And just a little bit behind the scenes of my own tour always constantly apartment hunting for like our myself clients or our short let's businesses and we're constantly always doing this so i just i just like to share it and i think you guys enjoy it so i keep sharing it more um this actually is cost wise let me just kind of share this with you guys cost wise i think it's like around five m six million naira which is i don't even know what the exchange rate is now but let's just make it simple and just say each apartment would be like i don't know six thousand dollars roughly a year five to six thousand dollars roughly a year and that's minus all the fees that you pay 
in Nigeria, you pay caution, legal agency fee, all that type of stuff. So it might end up being like 7,000 or so. But it's very high, well, kind of high, but for the island area, I think that's become the norm. But the only thing that makes this worth it is it's that it's furnished. So it has AC, it has furniture, it's actually, I think it's good. And it has a pool, it has a nice outdoor ambience, parking, gated, and it's an amazing location, close to the beach, the road. So it's great, it's lovely. So maybe some of you guys are actually interested. So if you're interested, maybe you have a company and you've been looking for a place like this and you want to rent it out, reach out to me. I'll put the number of my manager underneath this video and maybe we can link you up. Um, but as far as for our own portfolio, it wasn't like a good fit. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Comment below, let me know your thoughts, your opinions. Just kind of let me know your thoughts in general. And lastly, guys, remember, if you guys have been following me for a while, we are building our own community, the Nigerian nomad community. <laughs> We're building our own community in the outside, outside the city limits of Lagos. So if you guys are like, me and i know a lot of you guys are where you like to have access to like the city like you want to have access to the beach the restaurants all the fun stuff in lagos but you don't actually necessarily want to like live in lagos full time this is perfect for you like 45 minutes 30 minutes an hour drive boom you're like in your quiet space where you have like a lot of space less traffic nature you can breathe and then when you want to come to lagos you can come to lagos and have fun if that is if you're that type of person i would love to bring you into our community um the website to visit is called thegreenparadise.com this is just a self-sustainable nature inspired community um that we have over 150 diasporas that have purchased the land there we're essentially trying to build an ecosystem that would have everything that you need in the community and you would not have to go out for anything so starting with the residential the commercial um, the recreational it would just be a lovely 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 community so we're still selling lands there a plot for now is roughly six thousand um, dollars and if you want to um, convert that to naira just multiply six thousand dollars by whatever the current exchange rate is in naira now and half of a plot which is 300 square meters is three thousand five hundred dollars equivalent so yeah if you guys are interested, reach out to my manager underneath this video. His name is Mr. Fountain, and he would answer any questions that you have. We would love, love, love you to be a part of our community. And we're looking for people that are even bringing skills. I know I'm, uh, we have somebody that's bringing in a clinic, a movie theater. If you want to bring in, if you're a barber, welcome. Cosmetology, welcome. Electrician, welcome. Furniture person, welcome. You're a mechanic, welcome. Whatever skill sets you have. Come on in, bring it in, and let's build this ecosystem. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you guys got and enjoyed and you were entertained with this video. And lastly, lastly, guys, remember, it's your time to rise and let your light shine. Peace.